Okay, so the Dubai Championships for the men has just come out. A big draw, a stacked draw. The first time we're seeing Novak Djokovic since the Australian Open. Let's go to the withdrawal list because there's some big names that are not playing in this event. Okay, so here is the withdrawal list. You see five big names not playing in this one. Uh, Karina Busta, he pulled out. Chilich pulled out, still recovering from injury. Draper also pulled out. Harris is also out. And Rafa Nadal, the biggest name out of the draw, of course, still recovering from that injury at the Australian Open. And we've got eight seeds in this one. Top of the draw there. No one gets a buy in the first round, by the way. Djokovic, number one seed. He gets a qualify in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Grigspor versus Lestian in the second round. So tough match there, potentially, with Djokovic versus Grigspor, who's been in some good form this year. And then you got Popperin taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on one of the best first round matches going around. Murray taking on the number five seed, Hercatch. That's a huge first round matchup. And you can see there, potentially, Djokovic versus Hercatch or Djokovic versus Murray in the quarterfinals. Second section of the draw now, you've got Medvedev, the number three seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Bublik or another qualifier in the second round. Uh, then you've got Kokonakis taking on another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Dan Evans or uh, Borna Chorich, the number eight seed, who's right down the bottom of the draw. So that's a very interesting part of the draw because a lot of qualifiers in there. Medvedev's going to like that. He's in very good form too, Medi. Uh, he, he's, you know, you'd think he'd make the semifinals based on the amount of qualifiers that are there. And you can see there, potentially, based on the seedings, you've got a, a quarterfinal between Medvedev and Chorich. And of course, Medvedev Djokovic, possible semi-final. All right, second part of the draw, second half of the draw. You can see there's Vera, the number seven seed, taking on the Hechka. That is a first round match. That is one of the best first round matches, probably just as hyped as Hercatch versus Murray. The Hechka in great form, is Vera on the comeback. Must watch that match. Uh, Rusevori versus Kwan will play the winner of that blockbuster first round. Then you got Huzla taking on Sinego. Winner of that match takes on either Cressy or the number four seed, Felix Ogieli Asim. Very tough match for Felix in the first round. And if you project out the seeds, it's probably going to be FAA versus Verev. But I reckon Lehechka might surprise and maybe he'll play FAA in the quarterfinals. Bottom section of the draw now, you've got Hashinov, the number six seed, taking on Van der Zanschul. That's a tough match. Van der Zanschul can play well and of course, Hashinov's in some good form after the Australian Open. Uh, you can see the winner of that match will play Bonzi or Ema in the second round. Then you got Jaziri taking on Fakina. Winner of that match takes on either Krajanovic or the number two seed Rublev in the second round. Now, Rublev has not been in good form. He's had very tough matches, and Krajanovic is not easy. So I don't know how far Rublev's going to go. Uh, it's going to be interesting for that one. But Rublev versus Hashinov could be a quarterfinal. But I'm going to say that we're going to get a random quarterfinalist or maybe a random semifinalist because Rublev, I know he's the defending champion, but he just hasn't been good lately. So I'm a bit worried that he's not going to go far. And I think Hashinov might even beat him if they do meet because Hashinov this year has been much, much better. There it is. That is the draw for Dubai. Who's going to take it? Is it Djokovic coming back with a win? He hasn't lost a match all year. Is Rublev going to defend his title? Medvedev going to continue his form? Or is it going to be someone else? It's going to be a very interesting draw next week. A very big one. We're going to be watching it obviously on the channel for the most part of the week. We've also got Acapulco to cover as well. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this Dubai Championships.